Hey everybody, so I was at work yesterday, so there was a press conference, so I wanted to share that with you guys because I've been following the case and I want to make sure that I share everything that has to do with it. Thank you. All right, I'd like to uh, welcome everybody here to Two Rivers, Wisconsin tonight. Uh, my name is Dan Hartwig, Manitowoc County Sheriff, spelling my last name H-E-R-T. WIG. I'll be serving as a public information officer for this press conference for the True Rivers Police Department this evening. From the time he went missing, everyone has been working tirelessly to find three-year-old Elijah. He is our number one focus, and finding him is the top priority of every single law enforcement officer, volunteer, member of this community, and his family. We have brought in some of the best people in the country over the past week to find him. We want to thank all of our law enforcement partners, specifically our local law enforcement, Division of Criminal Investigations, FBI, local volunteer fire departments, private search and rescue, community search groups, local businesses for food donations, and Wisconsin sheriffs for providing a multitude of resources to our, to our search for Elijah. Tonight, you have a couple speakers before you. Uh, first up will be Chief Ben Minard of the Two Rivers Police Department to pro provide an update on search efforts over the past week. We'll also have two members of, the, of Elijah's family who will also speak here tonight. Some things I wanna let you folks know as well. When the family comes up here to speak, they're gonna be stepping off to the side once they are completed. We respectfully request that you do not film them after they are done speaking. The Chief will be provide or will have about five minutes for questions after after everyone is done speaking. Um, he will not speak about the current situation involving Katrina Bauer and Jesse View. Most of that is already in the media and they're currently in custody in the Manitowoc County Jail. Um, when asking questions, we ask that you raise your hand and state your name and which new, news organization you are with. Thank you all for being here this evening. My name is Ben Minert, B-E-N-M-E-I-N-N-E-R-T. I'm the chief of the Two Rivers Police Department. A child missing for any amount of time is everyone's worst nightmare. That's why we're here today. Elijah, a three-year-old boy, has been missing now for a week today. For the past week, we've utilized hundreds of resources worked around the clock in our attempts to bring Elijah home. Right now, I'd like to bring everybody just up to speed with our search for Elijah and how that went. Elijah was reported a week ago today, like I said, around 11 a.m. in the 30, 3900 block of Mishkat Road here in Two Rivers. Everyone searched for Elijah on that day, and I mean everyone. Our police department first responders responded out. It's not necessarily an unusual incident to have a missing child. Usually we find them right away. Nearly immediately we realized that we needed more resources. Every officer, including myself, was out searching that day for Elijah. When we needed more help, we reached out to the fire department and our Department of Public Works. Soon after that, we got some information stating that Elijah may have gone missing at 8 a.m. When we received that information, my assistant chief, Melissa Wiesner, she's a former lead investigator and she's worked many child cases. I entrusted her and I knew she had the wherewithal to reach out immediately to places like A Child is Missing, our National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, she put out numerous alerts, including missing and endangered alerts, ring neighborhood alert, uh, alerts, and local emergency alerts. That included an Amber Alert. I know there's been some question about an Amber Alert on that day and why. This child was three years old and was reported missing on a cold winter temperature day with only a blanket and possibly light clothing. And we knew at that time, possibly three to four hours. 
I define that as endangered. I immediately reached out with the assistance of my staff to the Division of Criminal Investigation. This is not about me. This has always been about bringing Elijah home and quickly. They led that investigation into his whereabouts with the support of our FBI. We also utilized almost any boat, UTV, drone, canine, and even National Guard helicopters to search for Elijah. Unfortunately, Elijah wasn't found. Following that day, we had a press conference. I know people were frustrated with that. I too was frustrated with that. Uh, we had a lot of misinformation going around on Facebook, through social media, and just in general. We felt it necessary that we had to lay out factual information of the case and bring everybody up to date to that point. We also established a tip line and got that out to the public at that time. That has been beneficial and crucial to this investigation and search. Since the conference, I have personally provided media releases daily, if not multiple times during the day to bring our public up to date and remain transparent. Those leads, those investigations, everything we've taken as tips have led to searching our neighborhoods, searching all our waterways, aerial and foot canvases, both urban and rural, throughout Manitowoc County and even beyond. We've searched Wisconsin landfills and quarries, and we've even had additional leads in Wisconsin Dells. In addition to all those search efforts, I am aware of other investigations taking place. I can confirm Elijah's mother, Katrina Bauer, uh, Bauer is in jail <clears throat> on charges of child neglect and obstructing. Katrina's boyfriend, Jesse Bang, is in jail on charges of child neglect. And I do know that it, Elijah's father has also been incarcerated at Oshkosh Correctional Institute in unrelated matters since 2023. I also understand that the public would like more information on those first two individuals I mentioned. However, I'm unable to discuss those matters because it is an ongoing investigation and I don't want to jeopardize those cases. I wanna thank the various local, state, federal agencies, as well as all our fire and EMS, and even those private uh, resources that have helped along the way. Thank you to everyone in the community. They've provided food and drinks towards all these efforts. And thanks to all those private search efforts. On Saturday, we announced a Crime Stoppers Award of $1,000 for information leading to the location of Elijah and have since provided other ways that people can donate here in the community or abroad. Currently, we have those established as coming to our customer service here at City Hall, our police department, and I'm also working on establishing an online route for people to do so. When that becomes available, I will reach out to everybody and let you know. Today, the FBI has now provided an additional reward up to $15,000 for information leading to the location and return of Elijah Vu and or the arrest and conviction of any individual or individuals responsible or involved with his disappearance. We have posters here that state just that. In addition to all those search efforts, Elijah Boo's family has been coordinating their own search efforts throughout Manitowoc County. They're here today and they'd like to provide a statement. I'd like to bring those members of Elijah's family out to make those statements for you. On behalf of my family, 
We stand before you today with heavy hearts burdened by an unimaginable situation. The pain is indescribable, a torment no family or child shall ever face. We cannot express the depth of our sorrow, nor the desperation that consumes us. As each moment passes without news of Elijah's safety, to anyone who may have information about Elijah's whereabouts, we plead with you to please come forward. Your courage, your compassion, your willingness to speak up may hold the key to Elijah's safe return. Every piece of information will, bring, will help bring us one step closer to bring Elijah back, back to our family where he belongs. To those who may have information, your assistant is just not a contribution, but a lifeline of hope. Elijah is a joyful and curious boy, full of life and love. He is a precious child who deserves every chance of happiness, and his absence is deeply felt by all who know and love him. Every day without him feels like a piece of our hearts is missing. We long to hear his laughter, to witness his curiosity, and to feel the warmth of his embrace. The emptiness left in his absence is a void that cannot be filled by anything else. Elijah, if you can hear us, know that you are deeply missed and loved, and we will not rest until you are safely back in our arms. Lastly, we want to express our deepest gratitude to law enforcement, government agency, and all involved in the search operation, the support of the community, the dedications of volunteers, the generosity of businesses, and the kindness showing through food and monetary donations, and so much more. We thank each and every one of you for your role in our search for Elijah. Please keep Elijah in your thoughts and prayers. And if you have any information, please come forward. We believe that with the help of the community, we can bring Elijah back home together. Thank you. Um, I, uh, Turkey English is not good. So, and I want everybody to be patient with me. So, and I just try that I can. So, right now, I would like to thank you for everybody to help my family to search for my grandson whole week to today. So, everybody know that we are really hurt. So, and I really, I want to thank you for the officer, for all the fire department people, all the people living in two city here, how uh, to search for our grandson, our baby for one week right now. So I yeah, really thank you for everybody so far right now. So I want everybody to uh, continue to help us to look for my grandson. I want my grandson to be home with my family. So I want everybody to continue, don't stop. Just searching for my baby Elijah. We want him to be safe and with my family and we love my grandson. Thank you for Like to thank the Vu family for being here. I have time for some questions as the sheriff announced earlier. I won't be able to talk about the investigation of the case, but I will answer whatever questions I can. Steve Emily Jesse from Fox 11. When was the last time someone other than Jesse Bang saw Elijah? What was the last time he was seen by someone other than someone arresting him? 
Right? We've gotten that question a lot. Um, I appreciate that question. What I will say is um, the reason that we've been seeking out to the public to request all the information that we are is because we are following up on every lead, tip, et cetera. And that is one of those things. You know, we want to know every time, any time that Elijah was seen during this past week. So we will continue to follow up on all leads, any leads, and that's what's leading us into the locations that we've been. What was the most recent, I guess, before he disappeared? I can't comment directly on the investigation, but I can tell you that we are following up on all those and we continue to ask for those. Chief Bria Jones, Fox 6, have you all Hang received, just a second. Bria Jones, first. Fox 6, Milwaukee, have you all received any information that indicates that Elijah is still alive, whether that be any surveillance or ring camera? I'm not going to speculate on anything at this point, but what I will say is all our efforts are for bringing home Elijah safe. I believe that all our efforts thus far have done just that. We've reached out to hundreds and hundreds of resources over this week's time span, and they're all dedicated to bringing him home, and we'll continue to follow up on any leads to do so. Based on the leads that you guys been, well, can police believe Elijah left that residence on his own? Again, I can't speculate. I will say that, again, when we're talking about the Amber Alert that we put out, people wanted me to speculate on an abduction versus endangered. At this point, what I do know is a child was missing in cold temperatures, you know, winter temperatures, in relatively little clothing and possibly a blanket. That's what we're searching for, and we'll continue to search for until I get some answers. And then you asked for surveillance video. Has there been any video that shows him on his own walking, anything like that? I can't comment directly on that. What I will say is if that is, in fact, the case, I know that we have DCI agents, FBI agents, and local police doing just that because we're following up on all tips, any tips that relate to Elijah Boo and his, his uh, return. Chief, there is a lot of NBC 26. You mentioned that there are there's efforts in other parts of the state. Can you speak to what those have included? You mentioned here we've been searching landfills and waterways. You said that there have been searches going on in Wisconsin. Bell, what have those looked like? Well, I think what I can tell you is that you've seen and you guys have been broadcasting searches of landfills, searches of our waterways. We know that people have been out in the Dells. Those are all things that we're following up on leads on. Any lead, we'll leave no rock unturned. We're going to follow up on those leads because ultimately our goal is, again, we want to bring Elijah home. So it doesn't matter how small that lead or tip may be, please bring that to us. Contact our tip line because we will get people out there to follow up on any lead, any lead whatsoever. I think we're going to go back over here because he was asking earlier. Uh, you had spoke about misinformation before. How does misinformation spread specifically in this case on Facebook hinder this specific uh, investigation and then and just an investigation in general? I'm sorry, could you repeat that? The misinformation on Facebook, how does that hinder an investigation, this one specifically and just in, in general? That in particular doesn't necessarily hinder the investigation. What it does is it hinders all the efforts within the community because again, our primary efforts here are to bring Elijah home safe. And if the public's getting misinformation, that's going to lead them awry. I want them to know the facts. Our department takes pride in remaining transparent here in Two Rivers. And that's why I'm putting out all these news releases. That's why I'm having a news conference with you today is because I want the public to know the facts, just the facts, and be up to date with those facts so they can continue their own searches. We're appreciative of those. I'm also appreciative of all the resources that we're focusing on throughout Manitowoc and beyond. Chief, can you talk about the toll this has taken on your I'm department? Sorry, can, we, can we take another question over here? Um, I'd like to spread this around. Um, have you been able to find any items that Elijah was last wearing? We have video of people presenting evidence potentially might be that that is the investigation. Right. I, I can't comment on exactly what has been taken or would not be taken. Um, I don't know the investigation uh, issues there as far as how that plays out. What I do know is that we're continuing to search for any of those items that you're talking about. So basically, you guys have all seen the photo of Elijah. We've mentioned that he may have had dinosaur print shoes, a red plaid bank blanket, and, and the clothing description. We are still looking for anybody that has tips on any of that stuff because we will follow up on it, and we will try to, to figure out if it is related to Elijah. Where do you go from here? Is there still I'm sorry. Can we go here? Last question. Yeah, Chief John. There are uh, Cecilia Phil from the Department. Um, a week after he's gone missing, uh, how confident are you that Elijah is still alive? 
Again, I'm not going to speculate. What I'm going to do is continue to search for Elijah Boo. We are doing everything in our efforts, believing that he is still out there. We will find him and we will bring him home. That's what we're searching for. And really, anybody in the community, anybody, anybody beyond, this is not related to just Two Rivers. This is abroad. So even outside of the Two Rivers community, I ask everybody in the state and beyond, really just start looking at your property. That's what you can do as, as a person, not right here physically. If you're looking for something to do, first check your property, then get involved in some of these other search efforts. That would help us a great deal. And again, reach out to that tip line, come back to us and provide us with any tips and we will follow up on them. Does that have a reason to believe that I'm sorry. Going back? Is anyone else involved in this system? <clears throat> I was just getting in. I'm sorry. That, that was the last question. I will just close with, um, I'd like to thank you everyone for being here today. You've heard pleas from the family now. Um, we echo those same pleas. Since our number one, our priority has always been, I keep repeating it, to bring Elijah home. I'm asking everyone to continue in their searches, continue to contact our tip line, um, report anything, anything at all that you feel may help us bring Elijah home. Everyone has been, has been affected by this deal, uh, this incident a great deal. Um, this is a close knit Two Rivers community. We're, we're all devastated. We want answers. You want answers. Um, I know efforts of our city staff, our citizens, and those beyond our city, city limits are gonna continue to work together and we'll bring Elijah home. Thank you. I do like the fact that he is not going to hinder the investigation. I know that the public probably doesn't like that, but it seems like if police give out too much information, people do end up doing a lot of things that end up messing up cases or making cases a bit of a circus. And we don't want that for any more cases. Um, we want awareness on cases, but we don't want a circus on cases anymore. If you do full awareness and not do speculation and things like that, I'm sure that's what you would like as well. So please know that they're doing this for a reason. And it really is not our business, all, all the things. And we usually find out all the things at court and things like that if you follow the cases all the way through. Yes, would we like to know all the information now? Of course, because when we follow cases, we always want to know, you know, everything. And some people like to get to the bottom of cases and, you know, be armchair detectives and things like that. But sometimes we just have to let the police do their job because that's what they get paid for. And that's what they went to school for and that's what they've been trained for. I love you all. Please remember to hit the like button, comment below and share this out. Let's get Elijah home. Have a great day. I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.